You're my ride. Really? <sighs> Fine. Is nobody else sober enough to take me on this beer run? Whatever. We need drinks. Get in. Yeah, well, I don't imagine you're too thrilled with this either. Really? It doesn't bother you? How did you even get invited to this party? Like, why are you here? So what? So you work with him. Who cares? That doesn't mean you're allowed to be here. Doesn't mean anybody wants you here. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, you think you're just as much of a friend of his as I am? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> well, somebody grew a backbone. Why are you apologizing? You stood up for yourself. It's about friggin' time. <laughs> I've known you since we were kids. And you've never stood up to me like that. Never. Yeah, I used to push you around pretty good in high school. And now, what, you've matured? And you've got some confidence? You think you can talk back? <laughs> good. <laughs> You're tired of my crap, huh? Well, good for you. Took you long enough. <sighs> yeah, I understand that you're confused. It's not every day that somebody's as good for you when you stand up to them. <sighs> Did you ever think that maybe I'm not actually that bad a person? I mean, you used to know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. We used to be friends. And then, somebody went and developed a crush that he didn't need to have. Tell me I'm wrong. We started high school and you started acting like a complete weirdo because you developed a crush on me and everything changed. Well, yeah, it made me uncomfortable. All of a sudden, my friend wasn't my friend anymore. He started being strange and shy and awkward around me. And <sighs> come on, man, I don't, I don't go for that shit. You know it. Yeah. Well, we went our separate ways. I went one way and you went another and Every time I saw you, I couldn't tell what you were thinking anymore. And it made me really uncomfortable. I know. I know. I wasn't exactly nice about it. And part of it is because I was angry that I'd lost my friend. And I was angry at you because you made it strange. You couldn't just be who you used to be. You had to be this new, shy whatever version of yourself, and I didn't know what to do with it. <sighs> no, I couldn't just talk to you about it. God. I had enough going on, trying to fit in at a new school and find my place in the hierarchy, and then dealing with the fact that you weren't who you were supposed to be anymore, and this crush thing that just slapped me upside the head. No. No, I didn't want to talk to you about it. Well, okay, at that age, who's really mature enough to have that conversation? Though, really? No, it was easier to call you a loser in the hallway and keep moving. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sucked for me, too. Because that's not... It's not really what I wanted to be doing, but... 
here we are. Well, did you ever know me to be a wench like that? Like, really? No, of course not. And then it just kind of happened, because it was easier to be nasty to you than to admit that there might be something else going on, okay? I must be tired or something to even be telling you this. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay? It was easier to call you a loser than to tell you that I might actually be crushing on you back. Because I didn't know what the heck to do with that. Are you happy? Y you grow a backbone and you make me uncomfortable all in one fell swoop. Good job. After a while, I just kind of... Forgot. It was easier to just lose interest and move on than to figure it out. I didn't handle it well. I don't handle that kind of thing well. No. I, then or now. Shocking, right? I'm a little abrasive, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> My guy, you're the one driving. It's not like I'm gonna shove you out of the car. You don't have to, like, compliment me and be all like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. Can we just get the alcohol and go back to the party so I can drink it all? No, I'm not drunk. I don't drink. I'm fully sober. Why do you think I'm on this beer run with you? <laughs> just... Can we just forget this conversation? Because I don't want to acknowledge it. I don't... I'm sorry for being a bitch, okay? I'm sorry for being awful to you. And... I just won't anymore. But I don't want to talk about this anymore. I am glad you stood up to me, though. So, keep that part. But the rest of it, gone. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know you're holding my hand. I'm... I wasn't being literal. I'm asking why. What do you understand? You understand that I'm a difficult personality and don't know how to human sometimes? Good. <laughs> Glad one of us does. See, this is the friend that I knew. The one who got it. Yeah, it is an instinct to protect yourself. That's what I did. very self-aware of me to even admit that. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I must be tired. <laughs> it's not just you. I mean, yeah, you're... <sighs> you're still the same guy that <laughs> used to play in my sandbox with me when we were five, and <laughs> used to be clumsy and spill juice on the tablecloth, and then have to stifle a laugh with me while my mom freaked out about it because it was a frickin' tablecloth and who cared? <sighs> You're the same guy who used to hold my hand during the scary parts of movies so I didn't have to leave the room like a complete baby. <laughs> I'm probably not the same person. At least, if I am, I'm a lot less nice than I was then. <laughs> it's not true. Well, that's one of us that thinks so. <laughs> I 
I don't get it. I don't get why you're even holding my hand and being nice to me right now. No. No. If we had talked about it, it probably would have gone very differently. You're right. I did miss my friend. I did. I... I still do, from time to time. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I did say that. But I stopped being able to figure out what you were thinking. What are you thinking right now? <sighs> Can I figure it out? Um... <laughs> Oh, you're such a bugger. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can. <laughs>